Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Sylvia and today I wanted to share with you guys what I eat in a day. I love these kind of videos. I love making these kind of videos because I love cooking. So this is, I'm very, very excited to record this video. We're gonna head into the kitchen. I'm gonna start with breakfast. It's quite early, but we're gonna have breakfast together and I'm planning to make um, oats and banana pancakes and I'm gonna top them off with berry jam that I like to make. So basically I use frozen berries and I turn them into a sauce. I add a little bit of arrowroot powder, maple syrup, and I, I use this to top off my pancakes and it's delicious. Also, I love using coconut mana for my topping along with maple syrup, obviously. Coconut mana, it is great. You can uh, find it at Whole Foods and it's great for your fat intake too it is super super healthy and it's so tasty especially in conjunction with maple syrup it's just so delicious so that's what we're gonna do today uh, then we might do some activities with our son and then later on we might go out for a little bit my husband wants to go to the apple store so i'm just gonna take you guys with me we're gonna vlog we're gonna cook so I'm super, super excited for this video and I hope you will enjoy it too. So let's get started. Also, before heading into the kitchen, I wanted to uh, tell you that I like to start my mornings with this powder. This is a barley powder and I mix one spoon of the powder in eight ounces of water or so. Uh, these, uh, this is for my mornings when I don't drink a smoothie or I don't drink a juice. I like to use the greens. This is great. I found out about this brand on Chris's Facebook page, Chris Beat Cancer. You know, I follow his protocol, I have his books, and so someone in the group recommended this. And this is perfect for preventing cancer. It keeps your body alkaline. Barley is a fantastic ingredient for um, keeping your cells healthy. So I highly, highly recommend it. It doesn't taste delicious, but I like to add a little bit of lemon juice in it and just chuck it. Basically, that's what I do. It has a bunch of vitamins, um, D, calcium, iron, vitamin E, K, uh, vitamin b6 a bunch of good things so i like it and um i got it off amazon so i can link it for you if you're interested but yes this is a good start for a healthy digestion and then i'm gonna have breakfast but this is what i do when i do not have a juice i usually juice in the morning or i do a smoothie i might have a smoothie later on today so sometimes that's my snack but <clears throat> This is a good start, so let's go into the kitchen.
it is lunch time. I already put my apron on so I can head into the kitchen and start making lunch. I'm super, super excited because today I actually have the time. My husband is home. He can watch Alexander so I can enjoy cooking. Sometimes it feels like a chore just because I need to be fast. Alexander loses his patient right away. So I need to go in the kitchen, make lunch and feed <laughs> feed him so i am super super excited i want to take you guys in my kitchen again we're gonna start chopping some potatoes some veggies this is gonna be a good lunch and later on for dinner i might do a soup like a cream soup and um maybe like top it off with tofu baked tofu or some roasted veggies again <clears throat> let's make some lunch for the fam and uh, let's go in the kitchen i kind of tighten up the space because every time i before we put alexander to bed the whole living room is covered in toys so i got the time to do that and so now i'm ready to cook because i like to cook in a clean space and since we have like an apartment that it's an open space the kitchen and the living room I like to see how everything is nice and clean. Same thing in my kitchen. Just again, it's like a therapeutic mode for me. All right, let's head into the kitchen and let's make some lunch. lunch if it was really really good 
I we were all full, but I like to have my smoothie as a snack. Sometimes do my smoothie in the morning, or if I skip breakfast, I will only have a smoothie. Or if I work out, I'll have a smoothie after my workout. But today, this will be my snack. I love yes. smoothie, so I always have a smoothie. Every single day, I try to have my smoothie. And today, I'm gonna make a green smoothie with my son, with Alexander. We're gonna make it together because he loves making it too. So we're gonna use spinach, bananas, pineapple, mango, and we're a little bit of hemp seeds and water. I'm out of milk because I used it all up for my pancakes. That is fine, but we're gonna make it with water. It doesn't matter because as long as I'm using bananas, it's just gonna be super, super creamy. Yes, the tractor is going on. Let's head back into the kitchen, make that smoothie, and then I'll see you guys for dinner. wait for dinner time just because we're gonna head out and I'm pretty sure when we come back we're gonna be starving and I want to have the food ready so let's go back in the kitchen and finish the rest because now that I had lunch I have some more energy so I can just bake some veggies sometimes it's like that you know I have days when Alexander is sleeping and then I make the food for lunch and dinner. I always cook for him like I always make fresh food for my son and for us as well and then we eat a lot of veggies so those are quite perishable and so I need to replenish and I need to cook all the time. So I have days like that when he's asleep, I'm cooking or I'm filming or I'm cooking and filming. And then when he wakes up, we eat and then I cook some more for dinner. So then we have some time together later on. It is what it is, mom's life. Um, but I enjoy it. I truly enjoy it. And I love that he eats super healthy. He eats what we eat now. And so that's, that's really, really good. Now, before going to the kitchen, uh, I wanted to address this because I was in shock the other day. Uh, I hope this is not copyright sound because Alexander is watching me as Rachel. And uh, so I was at the mall the other day with my friend and we were planning to get Starbucks. And Starbucks for me, it's a treat. I get it like once a week, once in two weeks. So once in a while, right? I don't get Starbucks every day and I usually get matcha latte or a chai latte. So we were in line, of course it was super busy like it always is at Starbucks. And then my friend goes, what do you wanna get? And so I go, I don't know, I'm deciding between the matcha and a chai. So she, she goes, that's weird because you're so weird with sugar, you don't need sugar, but then you drink these, these drinks. And I go, yeah, I know matcha, they're powdered sweetened, but like I didn't check how much sugar the powder has. I didn't really look into it. I just wanted to have it as a treat and I didn't really care. But she goes, no, 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 it actually has a lot of sugar. So the matcha latte has 32 grams of sugar and the chai latte has 46 grams, which I think it's freaking insane. I was in shock. I was like, this cannot be right. Cause I mean, the most I have is six gram of sugar. This is the most I allow myself. I mean, I don't like I allow myself, but I don't want to have processed sugar in my life. And so if I really want to indulge in something like the uh, unreal chocolate or the Simply Mills biscuits, then I go for those treats. But again, it's like six grams of sugar per pack. Now, mind you, this drink has 32 grams of sugar in a medium cup, 
right? So one drink has 32 grams of sugar. Then that day, my husband sends me this video about this guy that's posting about Starbucks saying how bad Starbucks coffee is. And I knew Starbucks coffee, it's not the greatest because first off, it's super, super sprayed and they don't use organic coffee and coffee. It's really, really bad just because it's so uh, heavily sprayed and it has all these toxins and chemicals. But on top of that, their syrups are so unhealthy. Again, they're so filled with chemicals and unnatural things. I think I'm done with Starbucks because this is not a treat anymore. And I know and I'm conscious that I'm putting in my body 32 grams of sugar. No wonder that it gave me so much energy. No wonder that it tasted so good. So I would only get the matcha with oat milk. No added syrups could you imagine even like on top of those 32 grams add more i'm not over it i had to share this with you i shared it on instagram and i think it's insane uh i'm done with starbucks officially yesterday actually i made myself a matcha at home i have much i have chai at home but again when you go out it's this time of year when you want a warm drink it's good man it's tasty starbucks is starbucks it is good but is it worth it so this is my rant i had to like take this off my chest because i feel like people should know and i know there's people know about this it's the same thing with mcdonald's we know mcdonald's is so bad and so even with that people still go to mcdonald's right it's like their treat or they indulge once in a while in those french fries or whatever it is i don't know i i think this is a big deal i think this is a part of why we should take care of our bodies and how we can take care of our bodies avoiding these kind of places avoiding those kind of drinks um you know it's just it's just not right so anyways i'm done with that i promise let's head into the kitchen and bake those veggies listen i when i was sick and when i was going through cancer i didn't even want to think of sugar right like i eliminated sugar Anything processed was actually eliminating my life from my life. So I would only eat fresh veggies or cooked veggies or fresh fruit, nothing processed. But now that I'm trying to find a balance in like eating right, staying healthy, indulging, it's hard. It, it is really, really hard. And that's why I am here to actually preach about this because there are better alternatives for us out there. And you know there's places around me like local coffee shops where my husband loved the coffee there and i love their matcha because it's not sweet and tastes terrible but i don't know i just ha i, I ha love that feeling that i'm putting my body something healthy <coughs> done with that let's roast some veggies and let's prep dinner lunch was great filling and i'm excited for dinner so let's head into the kitchen check out some stuff my husband wants to go to the apple store so we're taking a little trip with alexander it is so cold and then we're gonna come back home and eat dinner <laughs> craziness at the mall we're gonna hang out here at the playground there like an indoor playground and then we're gonna head home it's crazy we are doing the carousel thing. Yay! He's on the floor. Alright, you 
you guys we just got home um we went to the mall for a little bit my husband was able to find what he was looking for so we're all happy alexander spent some time at the playground so that's another good thing uh, we got some christmas ornaments we still have to do some more uh, Christmas shopping just because we're very last minute I wanted to do it with my husband for our friends and so we still have to pick up some things um, but that's for the days to come and uh, let's put together our bowl so I can show you how our dinner is gonna look like super super easy all right so this is our dinner I know it doesn't look as beautiful because the potatoes have roasted and they're a little dark but they're just very very well done and I like them this way and also the beets they just change color is they're not red anymore but this is gonna be so good and in here I made an avocado dressing if you will basically what we have in here it's one avocado a handful of spinach two garlic cloves and lemon juice salt and pepper and a little bit of water to make it a little bit more runny oh deliciousness i know maybe it's not as beautiful or instagrammy as i would like it to be but i promise you it's super super delicious and this is going to be a super easy dinner or even a, a very consistent lunch because you have everything you have fats protein um carbs in here so it is a beautiful dinner so that's what we're gonna have it's just so beautiful look at this bowl not only that it's beautiful but it's so nutritious and it's so so healthy and i i just love it it's been one of my favorites um so i've been eating it for for the past few weeks and i've been enjoying it and my husband too so so good so let's try it out so yummy alexander loves this too obviously he's not gonna get cashews but he loves the, the sweet potatoes, he loves beets, so I'm happy. Mm. Mm. The crunch, the avocado, the garlic, the lemon juice. It makes it nice and fresh. Oh my God. I think this is the, my favorite meal of the day. I sometimes do this for lunch. This is a great lunch but it was a quick dinner i skipped the soup i wanted to make a soup too but this is just enough it's so good thank you again so much for watching thank you so much for being here with me uh for following me on this journey and i'll see you in my next video bye